Look at this. Oh yeah, what do you see what's behind you? We're not doing anything with that. <laughs> I grew up in a room like this over my parents' 1948, and it didn't have a ceiling nearly this high. But I love this. What can we do to help? So uh, this is going to be the spare bedroom playroom thing. So yeah, sure. Um, okay. I'm in a process now of finishing up the backing here because the cold car is rigid backing now for, for insulation. So we're getting, we already have a guy uh, waiting for me to finish. He's going to come out and do a spider spray fiberglass insulation. Okay. In, in sure. And then the slopes. Now the thing that gets into play here is in order to code, I have to put a R5, a one inch thick. Um, EPS or extruded polystyrene mm -hmm. uh, insulation on the slopes. Yeah. Now it's going to be R38 for, for collar ties. Yeah. Uh, so that's mm, don't have to do that there. Yeah. So I was going to ask you: Is, is your company experienced and were able to install the poly? I mean, not the poly, the poly yeah. the EPS on the slope parts of our finished project, in addition to then sheet rocking over it. I want to ask my craftsman. Okay. Is a quick answer, and I want to give you a good answer. Right, and so I would be able to. Uh, Lowe's and Home Depot are the only ones around here that sell or check uh, the, the four by eight sheets of the uh, one inch um, uh, XPS. It's a Owens coin yeah. formular yeah. uh, R five. Mm -hmm. So I'm. This is going to be way past code, so I'm not putting any on there. I just have to put it on the slopes. Mm -hmm. Now, the question was, before I buy the formula, how much, if if there's an inch thick here, yeah, is there any issue with sheet rocking up to it and then over it? And if I don't put the formula on, of course, the collar ties, is it still, you know, how does the sheet rock work when there's a one inch thing on the slopes? Does that work out? Because me and angles don't get along. Is that able, any issues, or is it better to have the formula across the top also? I've not, I've, in, in, in the quick answer is from my experience, I've not installed sheetrock on that, on the styrofoam sheets. I, I mean, I've, I've always put it directly on the studs. Right. I mean, and, people have told me that, you know, the <clears throat> sheet rockers aren't going to like that. They're, you know, they're going to charge you more because they used to have the longer nails, but that's basically it. You know, with, well, I mean, with the yeah. circles, you know, around the, the nail thing so it doesn't crush the styrofoam. Um, let me, let me research it a little bit. I, I'll, I'll be, you know, I mean, perfectly honest with you is it, it is a question I've not been asked. And, and we go into these little complete unfinished bases all the time and to have styrofoam underneath the sheetrock is, is just not something we've dealt with. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, if you go to any building sites, there's, it's, it's common knowledge amongst green builders and yeah, you know, stuff sure. like that to, yeah. Away thermal breathing from mm -hmm. this, from this rafter and stuff like sure. that. So I mean it is done, but yeah. it's not the most common thing in the world. Sure, sure. And and, and and this really is the very first time I've been asked a question and I'll get you a good answer. And if we can we will and we'll quote it. And my craftsman, if we can't, then uh, because you know I, I draw on their experiences as well. And we've got a team of about eight guys around in the triangle area. And um, a lot of them have some rather extraordinary experiences. And um, I want to make sure that we're able to do it. We can do it well, and you know, give you the appropriate warranty for it. But um, we always would uh, put half-inch sheetrock here and put. Uh, I don't know what's the ceiling. Was this? This is R30. I thought. Uh, R30 is required, and we can get up to R26. Yeah. Uh, well, they have to put in one-inch baffle. Yeah. So now we're down to uh five and a quarter inches here okay and that gives us to our 26. so you've got to put a space or some right. kind to catch it up to yeah our I other see, choice I was see. to be have fill up the whole thing with uh yeah uh, oh. open cell foam yeah or, or closed cell and then something else but right. we didn't want we didn't want to go with the foam agree there's too many if it's done right it's great if it's not done right yeah you just wanted to well it's expensive it. as well well it's expensive it's very expensive too. to have that that blown in yeah so, um, so the quote here, I mean, one way or another, that foam board is going to have to come up. Yeah. So the quote is going to have to involve for the sheet rock. Right. You know, the fact that you have to use longer screws. That's or, insignificant to me. I mean, you know, it's it's uh, usually what it, it can go from a, a I don't know inch and a quarter minimum to two and a quarter, and <clears throat> you know, you would have the the one inch 
you know, inch and a half before you touch the bream, and then you want an inch coming in, that's probably a three inch screw. Right. Or two and a half, and something like that is reasonable. Well, this, this is what I, I just found one back here. Yeah. What they normally attach the foam board to, sure. to, to rafters with. Right, okay. So it's going to crush the. Mm -hmm. It's pretty rigid stuff. The uh, EPA uh, is softer and brittle. It's more like real styrofoam, but XPS is, is fairly firm and rigid. Okay. It actually comes in two densities, and I have to find out which one I really need okay. to get here. Um, but, so yeah, so this whole thing needs to be um, sheet rock. Okay. Um, do you have the dimensions? I'm sure. I'm thinking left to right, top to bottom, and your angle, or do you have any bill plans that we can access electronically or hard copy? I have a, I have a drawing that is, yeah, the scale, I have a big one, that's the scale. That Mike made? Where that Mike made, but that's for the flooring, that doesn't involve all the ceiling yeah, angles and everything up there, no. Because I mean, you know, it, it, it just gives you the four dimensions. If I follow you right, then what you're looking for is this surface, you know, the wall, knee wall going up and all the way over, down, and back, and carry it all the way back. Yep. All the way back. And then, um, then around the corner, and you've got this top surface coming down to the LVL, right. which it looks like you've got the bottom of the LVL showing. That's, yeah, that's another yeah, the question framer, for you. Well, well, according to the framer, that's a, I think that's the way we left it with him, that we were going to have that showing. And so mm -hmm. he, he put, what do they call those boards? Nailer boards. Yeah, yeah. And I don't, don't know if he did a good job or not, but right. theoretically he did. But, yeah, we wanted to leave that exposed. Well, it, so. it, it was inspected, and the you know, city was happy with the work, um, yeah. obviously. And right. Yeah. So, um, but, you know, here and, and come down to this point, mm -hmm. running up, to ever decreasing and you can see the challenges we have with the flat ceiling coming yeah. to a point kind of in 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 this area is is a bit weird uh yeah yes. Yes. You, you believe how much issues you've had with this area there's no question <laughs> it's been crazy. well you know with these that, yeah yeah the entrance way and everything on the inspectors well visualization in your mind's eye that you know let's start one place is that you want drywall to cover this width kind of to here right and you're going to have a piece let's for sake of argument run the what's called it what 36 and it's going to 36 and then from this point it's got to go forward, but then it's got a flare. Right. Yeah. And come to here, okay, and what we're going to have to do is kind of, but except, you know, here, it's doing this, and then it'll do this, and what we have to do is, is put another little piece to whatever its natural end is going to be to a tip here. Right. I mean, so if there's I, more framing to do, you would be able to do that. Well, you know, we're gonna have to make it work. Some whatever it takes. We have to make it work, but but you can see that even with this point, and then once we do the top part, then with the side, it'll be a piece here, and decrease to a point, and then once we have that, it's a mudding challenge, to make all of those seams disappear, and um, but the quick answer is we have, and and if you look at this part here, that. Uh, Imagine your sheetrock running down these joists, mm -hmm. and it's going to run a line mm -hmm. just like this. And then here, the edge of the sheetrock should catch a seam. It, it, it can't. It can't run. I remember it's going to be an okay. inch deeper because of the styrofoam. Right. Okay. But but even that, um, you think about one piece of drywall coming up to a point, then going here. And then down, all right, so that it would come up here, and then this way, I guess. But you know what we would probably do is um, add a little piece behind this, a little chunk of wood to 
screw into that seam or, or do it at an angle because if you leave a seam it moves it will never mud because it, it's it's soft and uh, you know but, uh, yeah, me and three dimension thinking don't get along. <laughs> so. It is. It, it's hard, and it takes me some time. It takes everybody some time to kind of visualize. We're going to cut a piece of, of four by eight or four four by twelve to fit in this section, and uh, what has it got to look like? And then to marry to this piece, and to that piece, and then this piece would come up here. And then it's got to stop right there because it doesn't curve. And then we can put another piece of drywall right here to there and then turn the corner. You would have to and then have another piece. But you want this showing. But do you want that showing? Probably not. And that won't look good. Now we could seal it, stain it to get it close to the color. But uh, you know, this might be the piece that you you actually wrap the front side of, and you expand the have the seam here and here, and come down, and you have an interior face, or you you might want a door here or a doorway, but you well, drop. Yeah, well, this is the inspector thing is that uh, we had a long time of them even approving this, but they finally the state finally agreed that this is non-habitable space, yeah. and therefore we do not have to have a six foot eight egress because this is not needed. Because they were talking about having to cut this out, we've, we've got the approval not to do that. But they're still saying we need a door here. I'm not going to put a door in here. If I fail inspection, then I'll put the door in here. Yeah. And then I'll put the door in here, and, and then you'll take the, door out. take the door out. Of course. <laughs> then then we silly. do it all the time. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's amazing the hoops we have to jump through. It's just funny. But um, we would prefer not to put sheetrock over this because, right. let me, because yeah. this is low already, yeah. and so it just adds more onto it. If there's any way we can do it, well, we can. And, and you were talking about not leaving it this color. You're talking about painting this. Yeah, yeah but a contrasting, a contrasting color, color so that people will see it, so, and not hit their heads. So if this uh, is filled in, you could paint this the same color as this. Yeah. I wouldn't look good. I would think that would be part of the door jam or whatever. Well, but then there's a lot of time for those choices. Yeah. And it'll it'll evolve as you see the room come to play. Mm -hmm. It will be an obvious and clear choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, good Lord, you got a 1,200 square foot living space up here. Yeah. Well, the original house plans call for a 19 foot ceilings and a foyer and a living room downstairs. Yeah, see it. So yeah. we, we a yeah. custom built house decided against it. So all of a sudden that space turned into yeah. this. An extraordinary angle. Yeah. Yeah. Bowling alley. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you uh, want drywall and drywall right. and so drywall and drywall and. I talked to the installation guy. What they do here in this situation here, they yeah. put a netting um, here and they blow against the netting so then you can come in and shoot rock in front of it. Okay. So we'll. Uh, Yeah. Um, and uh, which you know it, it begs the question that if we're going roughly in, in here again adding inches where we need to just coming basically up here to the hey, rafter it's just on this side okay you don't want anything here no that's no. not I understand that makes it easy because I was going to ask no, a question no, about no, this we're going to just spray just in here. okay and uh, in this side, there's no, no. nothing to do. Great. No. There's going to be a installer just a little here. Okay. So yeah, sure. So the sheetrocking involves, you know, it's yeah. a little open closet. Okay. It's gonna be, there's going to be no door here. It's gonna okay. Be so we wrap and wrap all the way down and there and there and here. Okay. And any ceiling? Yes, ceiling's going to be a flat. Okay. Or you can see again with the nail of it in place everywhere. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, we'll put in nailers where we need to. We, I mean, you always bring a half a dozen two befores. And that's an interesting header. Uh, you have to ask. I, mean, I don't know what's going on here. I'm not. This is gonna, well, this is actually uh, yeah. a sliding, uh, yeah. sliding, yeah. By, uh, sliding yeah. door yeah. closet here. Okay. So. Sure. And, you know, here again, we're going to wrap yeah. the face and the face and come in. You've got me a little nailer right here and over and there. And, and I would like, I've got a nailer here, I'd like a little bit more here, but we can work with it. A little piece on top, 
and we got one for the top side but i i, I will see you can see what the need for nailers right. for you know that and and i'd like a little bit more than hitting the joist and uh you know that's uh, right. coming down no i'm fine i'm fine it's okay and uh wrap here and uh anything in the bathroom Your, uh, um, we're, we were gonna. I mean, we didn't do the floor part of the floor ourselves. Or all sure. The floor. Sure. Okay. So we, uh, all right. Um. And uh, do they have? Okay. Um. And you've been. Uh, um, oh. Yeah, I've been having a good time putting that stuff in there behind the new wall. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I can tell. Um. The plumbing has been installed of, uh, and you've had a uh, inspection, yes. and they're happy with it. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's always a plus. Getting getting these guys out of here so you can actually do some work. Um, uh, I had a question. So, hmm? do does it matter the order the cement board board on the floor and then the sheetrock or sheetrock and cement board? Does it matter? I would do my floor first if it was me. Always build bottom up, I would mm -hmm. say. Um, yeah, so, but the cement board go all the way to the sill, or just leave a. You're gonna tile it? Yeah. yeah. I would. I put the floor. I put the whole floor down, and we put wall on top of that. Okay. Okay. And what I'd recommend is not that much more money, is to go with the uh, what we call green board that's turned to purple, because it's low humidity, and it takes a lot more humidity before it starts to uh, get negatively infected. The one that. We were thinking of using is the hardy plank. You want a hardy plank walls? You're going to tie no, the walls? Not the walls, no. The, you know, no, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah but, um, the floor, but the walls, there's no shower, so there's not going to be any humidity in here. Okay, that's fine. Right. Then we can use a sander, you know, what, that's $6.50. Um, yeah. It's going to be very infrequently used, and it's just a sink. Okay. A sink. That's fine. Right. Um, example is that I just did my garage, which is 500 square foot, and I use green boards for it because it doesn't make sense not to. I mean, it's a buck more board for two, and it's insignificant. But I was thinking, you know, bathroom, I just I just default into tub or shower or something, mm -hmm. and I always like to make that suggestion. We might consider that because there's a possibility someone might come in after us and put a shower or tub or something over there. Mm -hmm. That's all we do. That's your call. Any kind of anything. But, um, yeah, I would, I would put the floor in first if it was me because, you know, we can put the wall there and build up from it. Right. But, yeah. I mean, that's, that's just... And, and it's probably, you know, six of one kind of thing. Right. Pretty plumbing. Yeah. Block. Yeah. And the straps. So he's a little a local guy. Yeah. yeah. A local friend of mine, fishing buddy of mine. Yeah. <clears throat> we need a good plumber. If you've good. got one, please give us a phone number if he's willing. Well, I don't know what type of, you know, good, he, he's a s small operation, good rich plumbing. Yeah. He does some big jobs, but you know, I, I don't know what his Well, with the scope of things Craftsman Direct has that oftentimes we're called for exactly this kind of thing, which is a complete and unfinished space. Mm -hmm. An attic and a basement and sometimes it's a leak in something and you know, here again, um, we would be nothing more than a leak resource for yeah. whoever and he he's charged seventy five dollars an hour. The standard. No question. Across the board, I don't care if it's, uh, well, no, there's a plumber in Carver. I'm trying to think who they are. They are extraordinary. It's like 125 bucks an hour. Brown Brothers? No, they're expensive too, but this is a different one. Um, I wish I could remember their name, but anyhow, no, it's uh, lots and lots of pretty things here. And uh, anyhow, keep going. Um, so, yeah, this, this but, but our... Uh, our, our sheetrock stops with this surface. It doesn't go in the room. Right. It'll stop right here and wrap there and down and, and everything in here and ceilings and in the closet. So, I mean, you put sheetrock on this side where the door jam is? Uh, no. No. No, the door goes here the and, door goes and it'll press in. And, and what we do is we put a little a little piece here. Right. But, you know, it raises the question is that is we're going to start roughly here a uh, half inch in and go that way. Right. To here, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I'd like to have a nailer. Yeah, that's what I think. I guess that's what he has. It. Yeah, and uh, and it'll it'll probably touch right at that, so maybe we can catch the edge of that. But then we're gonna put a piece here. We have to have at least another one here, another two by four to catch that one. But uh, yeah, 
Oh. Um, so yeah. we got this. We've been. Uh, it's not 100% you know, settled.